This computer animation illustrates why a trawler with flattened aft sections of the hull is difficult to steer, especially in a following sea. Many, if not most, trawler brands have some form of flattened aft section of the hull, so it's important to understand these principles if you're looking at a trawler. Waves, particularly big water and ocean waves, most often move through the water faster than boats that are traveling at displacement speeds. So, in a following sea, waves quickly catch up with the boat. As they do, the vessel is lifted momentarily by the face of the wave, and the flatter aft section allows the boat to begin to accelerate down the wave and the boat veers off course. Many times, the next wave passes while the boat is still off course because the autopilot or helmsman has either not yet been able to make a correction or the needed steering correction is simply not possible. Why doesn't this happen with a Katie Krogan? The leverage, upward force, that wave action exerts on a vessel with flatter sections is greater than the force exerted on more rounded or tapered sections. With a flat aft section, most of the energy from the upward force on one side of the hull creates a downward force on the other side, and voila, you have roll. It is this roll, the downward pressure on the opposite side, that will cause the vessel to veer off course, yaw. Those of you that snow ski or water ski understand this principle. Now watch the interaction again. The wave approaches the boat and lifts it up. The added upward force on the starboard side exerts a downward force on the port side, causing the hull to dig into the wave and carve a turn to port. As you can imagine, a vessel constantly turning from its intended path neither rides nor maneuvers comfortably or efficiently. Now look at the same wave pattern with a Katie Krogan hull. On a Katie Krogan, much of the wave energy is deflected, so less downward pressure is exerted on the opposite side of the hull. As each wave approaches from behind, it lifts the boat up and the wave passes underneath the hull with little effect on the vessel's direction. The wave then continues on as the vessel moves into the trough and the cycle then repeats. This superior ride is a result of the hydrodynamics of two important design features of the Katie Krogan pure full displacement hull. First is the long keel, void of appendages, and with relatively sharp radiuses where the keel meets the hull. Anything which would cause a disturbance to water flow along the keel will affect its ability to keep the vessel on its intended track. Second is the wine glass transom, which has a tendency to deflect wave action. For every wave action force on the hull, there is an equal and opposite reaction of force on the water. The Katie Krogan hull shape deflects a large portion of that wave energy, and the result is truer tracking.